guys it's tiffany and crystal from my sister's treasures and welcome back we hope everybody had a great holiday we know we did we got a whole bunch of hello kitty stuff um the best yes so one of the things that i got was this cute little hello kitty purse and this bow on it we were inspired to make some jewelry from it so we made a hello kitty necklace Yes, and this tutorial is actually going to be inspired by um, a video that XOXO Priority did on how to make a Hello Kitty bow. But we wanted to take it a step further because you guys know we love jewelry and accessories. So we're going to make it into a necklace today. We're going to make it into a headband, a hair clip, a ring, and a That's cardigan right. pin. Yeah, so all the materials really are going to be under $10. And with the materials um, for this that we're going to show you, you can make about six to eight bowls, I believe. So by the time we do the math, you're paying like a dollar and some change for each bowl. And they are so cute. You can make them for yourself. You can make them for your friends. So stay tuned for this quick and easy tutorial. Bye, guys. Okay, so this is the bow that we just saw attached to the necklace. And I'm going to show you how to make this cool glitter one. And this is the pattern template you're going to use. Um, I'll attach a picture of a good template that you can draw out or print out and then trace it onto your felt. So the felt that I got was from Hobby Lobby. And it was this felt and this was 77 cents. I got, it's very firm. It's not like the flimsy kind that's four for a dollar. And I also got it in black. And then on top of that, I got a pink one. These were 79 cents because as you can see, they're pretty huge. And I got also black and red. Okay. So first I'm going to show you how we're going to use the black right here. The black glitter. And you might want to turn it over on the side that doesn't have glitter. I'm going to go right there. Place your template on there, which you can even make out of cardboard or whatever you'd like to make it out of. And just get um, a writing utensil and go ahead and start tracing it. I'm going to use white so it'll show up on this black. And you're just going to trace all the way around it. And then you're going to cut it out. Just like that. Okay, so I just cut this out from our black piece of felt. And now I'm going to go in and using a darker writing utensil, I'm going to trace the little parts that I'm going to stick on top of the black. Just like that. You can use a darker pencil or pen or marker or whatever you have to trace those things. You're just going to cut them out. And you also don't want to forget this little part because that is um, a very important part of Hello Kitty's bow. You're going to trace that. And you're going to trace this part, the middle. And then we're going to cut them out and I'll be right back and show you what I have. Okay, so now we're ready to glue on. We're going to put some adhesive on the non-glittery side. This is just hot glue we're using. And we're going to press it down right there. We're going to do the same for the other side. And we're going to press it down just like that. Okay, make sure it's good and even on both sides. Now we're going to go in in the middle, put some glue down, push that part on, and then we're going to add our little side pieces like that. That really like gives it the total Hello Kitty look. Okay, I'm going to put the last one on right there. And clean up any little hot glue stains you have. Also, make sure you position it just right. Because if it's off a little bit, it'll throw everything off. Okay, so there we have the bow. Okay, so here are the two bows that we just made. And since this one already has a hole in it, I'm going to show you how I got that hole. All I did was I used this hole puncher, which is very small. See the actual hole? It's not a very big standard size office one. You can get this in the scrapbooking section of any craft store. And since this felt is very pliable, you're going to go in and just punch a hole right there. Get a big enough hole. You might have to do two, depending on the size of your jump ring. And you're going to get um, whatever kind of chain you want. This is just something I took off of an old necklace. You can use any kind of chain. 
attach this jump ring. Okay, so you're gonna open up your jump ring and go in and just slide it in just like that and then close it up. You can use pliers. I'm just gonna kinda of close it up with my fingers. And there you have your necklace. Now, another way you can do this is once you have this one, you can get this pack of hair accessories. These are called curved alligator clips. They were $2.99 at Hobby Lobby. And you're just gonna grab one, put some hot glue on the top right here and press it on down just like that and then you'll have your clip. In order to secure it, you can get a little piece of felt. I don't wanna hot glue it yet though. And you can just open up the clip and place your um, felt just like that down there to secure it, okay? Also, we said we we're going to make a headband. I believe I got these from Hobby Lobby 2, a two pack for $1.99 and you can just get it and put it right on the side. Let's see, I already have a little spot right there. Just like that, so that your um, your bowl will sit kind of, it's kind of hard to film that, but your bowl will sit and then you will also adhere it the same way with that little strip of felt just right across the back. Okay, and last but not least, we're going to make a ring and you would just apply the hot glue right here on the ring blank and stick it right in the middle and then it would sit on your hand as a huge 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 ring but it would be so very cute if i can get it on my hand so this is um like you said like we said there are lots of things you can do with this hello kitty bow it's so cute you can attach it even to a sweater you can just put like a pin that they sell right along with these alligator clips but it's actually made for your clothes and you can put it right here on the back and secure it with this extra piece of felt that you'll have left over. So I hope you guys enjoyed these fun do-it-yourself ideas for this cute Hello Kitty bow. Thanks for watching.